Hi, I'm Zhu Hang from the University of Tennessee Knoxville, and I'm going to be talking about our paper, Robots Detection of Machine-Induced Audio Attacks in Intelligent Audio Systems with Microphone Array. This is a joint work with my colleagues Tong, Tianfang, and Yi, my advisor, Professor Liu, and Professor Yuan and Professor Chen from Rutgers University. So the adoption of intelligent audio systems has surged during the past decade as they provide a convenient interface to, for users to control and interact with smart devices through voice commands. In particular, voice assistants such as Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, and Apple Siri has been integrated into various platforms, enabling users to conveniently control different aspects of their daily lives, such as controlling smart home appliance, making online purchases, managing personal schedule, and controlling smart vehicles. With such widespread applications, the vulnerabilities of these systems against various types of audio attacks has become a rising security concern. For instance, replay attack, which attempts to bypass the authentication process simply by using a recording from the victim, has long been one of the dominant sources of audio spoofing attacks. Synthesized attack utilizing text-to-speech engines to mimic the victim's voice is a, corner, is a common alternative when the victim's speech sample cannot be directly obtained. Besides these conventional attack approaches, over the years, researchers have revealed new vulnerabilities such as hidden voice commands, inaudible attacks, and audio adversarial examples, which exploit either the gap between machine and human perceptions or the intrusive vulnerability that lies in deep learning models to make the attack unnoticeable and harder to be detected. These emerging attack vectors demand a general defense strategy to secure the voice user interface against the, the disclosed suite of audio attacks. However, most existing studies treat each type of attack di differently and seek to design specific mechanisms against each individual attack. As the most studied audio attack, many features derived from speech signals has been considered for the designing classifiers to dis distinguish replay speech from human speech. In addition to these power spectrum features, relative phase shift, pitch patterns, and neural activation patterns, along with other spectral features has been proposed to help discriminate between human and synthetic speech. Countermeasurements to hidden voice commands include training a classifier with derived acoustic or vibration domain features. And to defend against an audible attack, microphone enhancement, baseband cancellation, propagation attenuation, or active defense using an emitted inaudible guard signal has been considered. Although a holistic defense strategy against all existing audio attacks is highly desirable, existing studies are mostly focusing on designing dedicated mechanisms for defending individual attack. These mechanisms are designed from different perspectives and require different sensing modalities or hard additional hardware modules making it almost impossible to combine and deploy them in practice. In addition, nowadays, most off-the-shelf intelligent audio systems are encrypted with a microphone array for far-field voice recognition, noise cancellation, and also acoustic, uh, acoustic echo cancellation. In contrast, most existing efforts for detecting replay audios are based on single-channel recordings. Only few studies go beyond a single channel to, to explore dual channel or multiple channel audio. Compared to existing single channel based solutions, utilizing multi-channel audio for attack detection brings several benefits. First of all, in addition to the temporal and spectral information, multi-channel audio also includes important spatial feature that is harder for the attacker to manipulate. Secondly, different from the existing single channel attack detection systems, that only perform well in close range scenarios, multi-channel audio signals can be utilized to achieve sound source localization and speech enhancements by reducing noise and reverberations, which are critical for far field detection. And lastly, nowadays intelligent audio systems are also often come equipped with a multi-channel microphone array to achieve far field voice control. 
And thus, multi-channel audio attack detection solutions can be directly deployed to these de uh, devices to obtain enhanced performance without requiring actual hardware. And motivated by these potential benefits, the goal of this work is to develop a holistic solution to detect various uh, machine-induced audio attacks leveraging multi-channel microphone arrays that are available on intelligent audio systems. Since all audio attack require a playback device, either a regular loudspeaker or an ultrasound speaker to play the crafted attack audio sample, the task of detecting audio attacks naturally becomes to differentiate with machine-induced audio from human speech. Machine produces sound by moving a diaphragm back and forth along one dimension to emit audio uh, sound waves. As shown in this figure, during sound pro uh, production, an, elect an electric current flows through the vocal coil, in inducing a magnetic field that interacts with a permanent magnet and creates a force that drives the diaphragm, causing it to vibrate. Differently, human voice production involves multiple physiological components such as lungs, vocal cords, and vocal tract. When speaking, different, uh, different phonemes are produced with different articul articulation manners, causing sound waves to be emitted from different locations in the vocal tract. The emitted sounds are further shaped by the vocal tract, which acts as a time-varying filter. And these differences between machine and human sound production would reduce in traceable patterns in the spectral energy distribution and also propagation paths, which will all be reflected in the magnitude and phase domain features. In prior studies, both the power spectrum based features and phase domain features have been proven useful for single channel replay and synthesized attack, uh, audio attack detection. To investigate the uh, discriminate, discriminate ability of the magnitude and phase information derived from multi-channel audio, we perform a feature analysis on the recently published Remask dataset, which contains genuine and uh, replayed speech samples recorded from multi-channel devices in four practical environments. And we plot the average power spectrum for all genuine replay audio samples and their continuous phase spectrum averaged across, uh, across all channels. We can clearly observe that both the magnitude and phase spectrum shows distinguishable patterns between genuine replay audio in all the environments. To validate the feasibility of leveraging multi-channel audio to, to enhance the performance of audio attack detection, we further analyze the Remask dataset by plotting the magnitude and phase spectrum of two individual channels. We observe that uh, such individual channel processes uh, unique, unique information, especially visible in the phase domain that could be helpful for the detection of machine-induced audio. And in addition, we perform statistical analysis on the audio samples to quantify the magnitude and phase difference between each pair of channels by calculating their average L1 distance. As shown in the table, there exists a difference in both the magnitude and phase between any two channels of the recorded audio, showing that each channel indeed carries distinct information. And moreover, we observe that the pair, the pair of uh, channels with the most distinct magnitude information does not necessarily carry the most distinct phase information. In this work, we aim to build a holistic solution to detect all the audio attacks induced by machines. And specifically, the solution needs to meet the following design objectives. First, the model should be able to utilize the rich information encoded in multi-channel audio to achieve enhanced audio attack detection accuracy compared to existing single channel methods. The model should be able to capture a set of gen generic acoustic features in order to defend against any machine induced audio attack. And finally, the model should, be, should also be able to maintain a decent detection performance in different acoustic environments. To achieve this goal, following challenges need to be addressed. First of all, to detect timely, to achieve timely detection, 
the system should be able to make a decision relying on only a short fraction of audio, for instance, uh, less than one second. And secondly, the attack audio may be induced by different types of loudspeakers with varying frequency responses. And thirdly, collecting label data for all common acoustic environment is rather difficult in practice. And thus, it will be more desirable to enable the model to generalize to new acoustic environments without requiring labeled data. The audio signal will need to first undergo the pre-processing phase. In real-world application scenarios, the detection model should be able to make a decision relying on a short uh, segment of the streaming audio to achieve timely detection. In our implementation, we choose to use a segment of one second. And instead of directly operating on the raw waveform, we utilize the audio signal to create a unified time frequency map. This is obtained using the short time furious transform, which shows how the intensity of each feature components changes over time. And similarly, we process the phase information into time frequency maps of the same size by computing the angle of the comp complex value and then stack these uh, phase, ma uh, phase, ma phase maps along with the magnitude maps. After pre-processing, the audio signals will be processed into image-like feature maps, which enable us to leverage the rich body of research on convolutional neural networks to design our attack detection network. Specifically, we explore two flavors of network configuration according to different usage scenarios. So first, our type one network is a large and powerful VGG network. It uses multiple stacked uh, convolutional layers to achieve more representational capacity and to enable high attack detection accuracy for desktop and uh, cloud applications. And our type two network is a fast and lightweight network based on the architecture proposed in MobileNet. It utilizes a depth-wise separable convolution and the inverted re residual block to provide more computational and energy savings, which makes it suitable for mobile and IoT deployments. The performance of learning-based uh, predictive models are likely to degrade if the pro provided test samples are from new environments that are underrepresented in the training data. To address this, we introduce a new domain discriminator network during training. And the goal of this network is to dis distinguish between samples from the training time environment and samples from the test time environment by minimizing the domain classification loss. The final objective of the domain invariant training process is to search for the set of parameters of the feature extractor to minimize the audio classification loss and simultaneously maximize the domain classification loss, which can be achieved by training on the integrated loss function. To evaluate our system and the replay attack, we use the public uh, remask dataset which is collected under four acoustic environments using four different types of microphone arrays, each with two, four, six, or seven microphone channels. And besides conventional replay attacks, we implemented other six more advanced audio attacks and collected data samples using multi-microphone arrays and uh, uh, playback devices in three different environments. We compare our method with four state-of-the-art baseline replay attack detection models, including three single-channel based model and one multi-channel model. We use recognition accuracy and equal error rate as our metrics to evaluate the performance of the system. We first evaluate the overall performance of the proposed system on the replay attack using the public remask dataset. We implemented all baseline methods and compared the experiment results with the proposed methods in the table below. We observed that multiple channel based, uh, multi channel based methods outperform single channel based methods, with the performance gain becoming more visible as the number of audio 
uh, channels increases. And in general, our type one network can consistently uh, achieves better equal error rate. There are 20 to 50% lower compared to the existing beamforming based network. We also verified that the latency of our network is sufficiently low for supporting various real-time speech applications. To evaluate the model in environmental independent uh, conditions, we set one of the four environments to be the target domain for testing, while the remaining three environments serves as the source domain for training. To validate the effectiveness of the domain adaptation training procedure, we compared the performance of our type one model with domain adaptation to the model without domain adaptation. From the results, we observe, we observe that uh, models trained on data from source environments generally suffer low generalizability to new environments. Despite this, leveraging the domain adaptation procedure, the proposed network is still able to reduce the equal error rate by up to 40%, achieving an average equal error rate of 21%, which is much lower compared to the baseline network and the network without applying domain adaptation. We further expand the, the evaluation of the system to include more advanced audio attacks using the self-collected data set. We observe that when considering all six types of audio attacks, the performance of all models are degraded comparing to the ones that are trained ex exclusively for detecting replay attacks due to the highly varying behaviors of the advanced audio attacks. Despite this, the proposed type one and type two networks are still able to achieve the best performance among all baseline models, achieving an overall equal error rate of 13% and 15% across all three devices. We also investigate the interpretability of our approach by visualizing the silency map of the model and its learned representations. These visualization results verified that the model's ability to, uh, to extract the discriminate features. In, in conclusion, in this work, we propose a holistic solution for detecting machine-induced audio attacks by leveraging the readily available microphone arrays on intelligent audio systems. We adopt and supervise the domain adaptation to improve the generalizability to new acoustic environments. And we also develop a more compact model that's suitable for resource-constrained mobile and IoT devices. And that will be the end of this talk. More details can be found in our paper. Thank you for listening.